good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV, back at y'all with another one. So, we got some very, very interesting news. As undefeated two-time heavyweight world champion British superstar boxer Tyson the Gypsy King Fury. 30 wins, no losses, one draw. 21 wins by way of knockout. Tyson Fury, 32 years of age, stands at six foot nine with an 85-inch armage. With that said, Tyson Fury, he will be heading into a highly anticipated trilogy match with Olympic bronze medalist, former WBC American heavyweight world champion superstar boxer Deontay the Bronze Bomber Wilder. 42 wins, one loss, one draw. 41 big wins by way of knockout. Deontay Wilder, 35 years of age, stands 6'7", with an 83-inch armage. With that said, this is scheduled to take place next Saturday, October 9th, Las Vegas, Nevada, T-Mobile Arena. With that said, Tyson Fury somewhat reveals his game plan ahead of the fight. Now, Tyson Fury is never short on words as to what he plans to do in his fights, regardless if it's Deontay Wilder, Otto Valin, Tom Swartz, Vladimir Klitschko, he somewhat all the time lets you know what his plans are and what he plans to do in his fights, okay? And for this fight, in previous fight, Tyson Fury has fought in the Southpaw stands and won a fight in the Southpaw stands. Obviously, he's undefeated. Now Tyson Fury somewhat reveals that he's planning to switch stands. He's planning to shock Deontay Wilder and come in in the Southpaw stands. Tyson Fury, he witnessed... Uh, Deontay Wilder have some struggles against another southpaw, well two southpaws to a degree, he still got the knockout victories against Arthur Spilker and against Luis King Kong Ortiz, okay, and Deontay Wilder, he knocked both guys out but at times it was a high high speed, high uh, high profile chess match and that's what Tyson Fury, he wants this to be but he says that he's going to do so and still look to walk Deontay Wilder down and get a knockout victory. So he wants to shock and surprise Deontay Wilder. Now we know Deontay Wilder is going to have a lot of uh, different appearances and different approaches in this fight as well. When I mean appearances, he's going to appear to do a lot of different things. He's going to hide the right hand, okay? Uh, he's going to appear to, you know, uh, uh, plenty, plenty of people, uh, they have the narrative and it's been the ongoing narrative that Deontay Wilder can't box, okay? So to many, uh, even including Tyson Fury, Tyson Fury says when Deontay Wilder lands a big right hand, after he lands that big right hand, he's going to resort back to his old self and give me openings to do what I want to do, and that's knock him out. Tyson Fury, he stated that he's also gaining tons and tons of weight uh, because the weight helps him absorb the power of Deontay Wilder, who has the highest knockout ratio in the history of the sport of boxing at 93%. Deontay Wilder has knocked down or knocked out every opponent he's ever faced, including dropping Tyson Fury twice, okay? Uh, so with that said, Tyson Fury, uh, the first fight, he came in about 240 plus pounds, okay? And the second fight, Tyson Fury, he came in at 273 pounds, okay? He came in about, the first fight, in about 200, close to 250 pounds, but the second fight, he came in at about 273 pounds, okay? And uh, Deontay Wilder, in the first fight, he came in at 209 pounds. And he also did so against Luis Ortiz. In the second fight, he weighed 232 pounds. Uh, that was the biggest he weighed in the fights with Tyson Fury, okay? Uh, so with that said, Tyson Fury, he said that he gained the weight to allow him to absorb the punching power from Deontay Wilder. Again, Tyson Fury, he stated that Deontay Wilder is the highest risk fight out of anybody in the sport of boxing. He says that the only person that could beat and offset Deontay Wilder is myself. Everybody else he knocks out five rounds or under, hands down. That's what Tyson Fury stated. So Tyson Fury, uh, we know he has the herky-jerky style in which he used that in the first fight. Uh, in the second fight, he walked Deontay Wilder, walked, right, walked him down, walked right to him. Okay, and Tyson Fury, he understands, as his father, Big John Fury, stated, uh, if he uses the same exact approach that he did in the second fight, it was an anomaly. Deontay Wilder is going to make the adjustments. Deontay Wilder is going to uh, be focused. Deontay Wilder is going to uh, uh, have a game plan for that. And so if that's the game plan, 
then my son is going to get knocked out, okay? He says that he has to mix it up. He has to use somewhat of the style he used in the second fight and somewhat of the style he used in the first fight. So he stated that he must mix it up, okay? He absolutely must, uh, uh, you know, give different looks, change levels. Then once he wears them down, he can pressure them and then look for the stoppage, okay? Uh, and I'm not surprised that Tyson Fury is possibly looking to use a southpaw stance, okay? Uh, you can see him training in the southpaw stance, and uh, you can see him hitting the heavy bag in the southpaw stance, okay? Uh, so he's clearly, this has always been, again, he's won a fight in the southpaw stance. So this is not um, something new. You know, this is, uh, you know, a way for Tyson Fury to give Deontay Wilder a different look, okay? A wrinkle. To, to throw in a wrinkle, okay? We know there's guys like uh, today's time. We have Terrence Bud Crawford who switches from Southport to Orthodox fluidly. We also have Jerron Boots Ennis who switches from Southport to Orthodox fluidly. So there's plenty of guys. Tyson Fury does have that in his arsenal. He does have that in his toolbox, okay? Uh, and he's stating that he's looking to display coming out in the Southport stance, okay? And uh, that's going to be interesting because the straight right hand is the kryptonite to a southpaw at the same time the straight left hand is kryptonite to an orthodox fighter okay so with that said you know uh do you want to stand in the southpaw stance and give deontay wilder uh the straight down the avenue pipe straight down the pipe right hand you know or is this a way for tyson fury to bait him in to coming out of that uh boxing and using uh and being um versatile okay we know he's, he's training and practicing head movement. He's practicing on foot movement. He's practicing on going to the body. Head placement, okay? Getting your head off the line, okay? Not being a still target. Not uh, staying around and waiting for receipts. Give him different looks, okay? Stay agile. Stay mobile. Wear him down. Go to the body. Deontay Wilder said he's going to wear the body down, okay? And so uh, this is what the game plan is. So... Is Tyson Fury trying to bait Deontay Wilder into getting right hand dominant, getting right hand happy by standing in the southpaw stands and opening up the lane right down the pipe for Deontay Wilder? And before Deontay Wilder knows it, he's looking for the right hand all night and the bell is ringing after ringing after ringing and there's rounds going in the bag for Tyson Fury. That could be uh, also, you know, a ploy for Tyson Fury to come out in the southpaw stands, give Deontay Wilder that opening. Make him feel comfortable. Let him start looking for the left, the right hand all night, okay? Have him resort back to his old habits. That could be the case, okay? Uh, the thing is, Deontay Wilder, I'm sure, with uh, former heavyweight title contender star boxer Malik King Scott in his corner, who was a pure boxer who boxed on his toes, who utilized the ring, who utilized the jab, you know, uh, was a, a big agile heavyweight. Okay, use the jab, use the straight right hand, use combinations, utilize the ring, utilize his footwork, utilize the head movement. Okay, he changed levels. Malik Scott did. Okay, Malik Scott gets overlooked and his career gets overlooked. Okay, uh, is the young, Malik Scott a big puncher? No, uh, but he has a lot of similarities to that of Tyson Fury. Okay, and uh, you know, um, he gets overlooked because he never won the world title. Okay, uh, but. His, so his abilities and his skill sets, six foot four, you know, uh, uh, agile as he is, okay? He had 38 wins, three losses, one draw, 13 wins by way of knockout, two times in his career he's knocked out. Six foot five, 81 inch arm reach. Uh, his last fight was against Luis King Kong Ortiz, November of 2016, okay? But he beat, you know, uh, guys like Tony Thompson, you know, he, he fought uh, uh, Deontay Wilder, Derek Sosora. You know, he's, he's had, he's been in some glass golf okay he's been in some big fights okay and uh 38 wins out of uh 40 um 42 fights that speaks volumes okay 38 wins out of 42 fights 13 knockouts which says he wasn't a big puncher but that's what you need if you're Deontay Wilder because your natural punching power is just that natural it's God gifted you don't need to work on your power you need to work on everything else okay and so Malik Scott he had to compensate for not being a big puncher. And the way he compensated for being not being a big puncher was to utilize foot movement, was to utilize uh, uh, head placement, was to be able to move around the ring, okay? Was to utilize the jab, was to utilize, you know, many different avenues to get victories, okay? Not just rely on power, 
And so that's what Deontay Wilder needs. Somebody that's going to focus on the details. Focusing on, like Malik Scott said, pulling those tools out the toolbox. Okay? So it's not that he can't box. It's just that he didn't have to display all his boxing ability because he had the equalizer, the one-punch knockout power. Okay? And so with that said, you know, uh, this is going to be very, very interesting to see if Tyson Fury truly, truly looks to come out in the southpaw stands. So let's see how this unfolds and plays out. That's all I got for y'all. Make sure you hit the like button. Drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy Blue. Blue Blood Sports TV. Hate, like, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Hit the bell icon to get all the new notifications. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV. All one word. Y'all already know what it is. Shout out to the entire LDBC. Shout out to New Media. Shout out to Black Media Raw. Make sure you like and share these videos. That's all I got for y'all. Peace. Hey, this is Ebony Bridges, Blonde Bomber, and you're watching Blue Blood Sports TV.